unfortunately for me, the rain is coming down and my hay fever is getting better. But if it weren't, and it went on to get worse, I might get asthma and I'd be in trouble. So I'd probably turn to medicines like this. I might use nose drops to clear my nose, or antihistamine pills to take the irritation away. Even antihistamine eye drops if my eyes got really bunged up. And if things went on to get really bad, I could use an asthma spray to cure the asthma. Well, that's what I would use at home. And for me, by and large, they'd work pretty well. But we're in Singapore, and here things are done very differently. We're in a Chinese herbalist's shop. And many Chinese here would much rather use a herbalist than use Western medicines. And if you look around, you can see the most extraordinary range of things are used for medicines, all of them valued for some particular property. There are dried fungus, dried pieces of animal and plant. There are dried wasps, dried seahorses, pearls, a stunning array of things, many of which you just can't recognize. But if you're ill, you go to the doctor, he tells you what you need, and you come in here where various doses of things are weighed out. Well, let's see what they can do for me and my asthma. Well, the cure for asthma involves two rather special ingredients. One of them is dried crocodile meat. And Mr. Ho is weighing some of that out now. The other is a very special fungus. There we are. It comes up as dry, knobby lumps like that. But if you cut them across, you can see it's white inside. It's special because the story goes that when a, uh, a tiger feeds her cubs, some of the milk might drip on the ground. And if it does, and this fungus grows on the spot, it will absorb the special properties of tiger's milk. And so this is added to the crocodile meat, and the whole lot will be made into a package for me. Well, Mr. Ho is an experienced herbalist, but if he weren't so experienced or he wanted to check on something, he could use the Chinese medicine book. And if you look inside that, you can see all sorts of pictures of these different ingredients with their labels. And you can also see on the right hand side descriptions of the things that they are used to cure. Now if I had fever as well as my asthma, something else would be called for. And it might be crushed pearl, pearl powder. It's so popular that you can get little advertising brochures for it like this. Open it up and it tells you what you can use it for. You can even buy it over the counter, much like my nose drops. There we are, a little phial of pearl powder in there. But it's better when it's done fresh and Mr. Ho is going to do some for me now. crushed pearls. You might think very expensive, but it's not as bad as all that. This little bottle, for example, has a file of them, and that's only $4.50. Still, other things are unbelievably expensive. Probably the best known ingredient in herbal medicine here is ginseng. It's a root, and that length of root is worth a fortune. It's actually cut up into tiny pieces and sold like that, and one gram is worth about $1,000. So I won't be taking any of that. I'm content with this. It's time to take my packages and pay. Curiosity. 